Youth Unlimited is a movement of people whose heart and soul is to reach into the lives of young people across Canada with the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are 31 chapters who see the hope and potential in every young person. Youth Unlimited is committed to impacting today's culture, training tomorrow's leaders, and caring for Nanaimo's youth. The vision for Youth Unlimited in Nanaimo is to partner with churches in an effort to provide a bridge between unchurched kids and Christian mentors who will demonstrate a Christ-like life through love and compassion. Youth Unlimited works in Nanaimo's in the schools and in the churches. Uh, during the day, we work within the schools doing some games clubs or we go into the gyms and play dodgeball with the kids. Um, after school, you can usually find us in a church parking lot or in a church doing a Bible study program. Uh, we spend a lot of time with teens doing the activities that they love to do. Well, we were working with the Presbyterian Church at their lunch and there was a bunch of kids coming in there and they really had no, uh, no connection with the kids. The kids were coming in, having lunch and leaving and there was really no way for the church to make a connection. Youth Unlimited has been a godsend to this congregation. Uh, behind us in that building back there, we have a community lunch program that we run on Thursdays, uh, both to the community and the high school across the street from us. And Youth Unlimited has been able to come in here and start working with the youth. And it was interesting that how they were able to, then after school, run a program for ball hockey in our parking lot. And that's been very, very popular. Our congregation absolutely loves the idea of our um, parking lot being used for community purposes. Uh, we've been having a number of children come out and they love being here and they get a lot of joy of being outdoors and playing ball hockey in a controlled environment. So my idea behind the hockey was to get into their lives a bit more and to have a bit more of a relationship. What the hockey actually does is it enables us to have time with them. Time setting up the equipment, tearing down the equipment, time playing hockey and getting to know them. I get to know their parents that come and pick them up and drop them off. Our relationship with Youth Unlimited is uh, very unique. Um, we've been partnered with the Wellington High School across the road from us uh, for a number of years. Uh, they use our facilities in a number of different ways. And now with Youth Unlimited coming in, they add that extra piece of being able to provide opportunities uh, for the kids to engage with the church itself. So we find them a very, very useful partner and a good partner to be able to break down the barriers between uh, the church and the community. Well, I know the Lord has brought us here for the work of reaching kids. And I know that the churches, whether they have a youth group or not, they really want to have kids around. And if we can do something to help kids to enjoy being at church, that's what it's all about. Working with Youth Unlimited has been a blessing to our youth group at Departure Bay Baptist Church. Having a leader at our youth group nights, uh, or doing a soccer camp, or even just doing some gym time at the elementary school up the street. Youth Unlimited has always provided means and uh, ways to channel kids to our youth group and also to different other youth groups in, and churches around the city. We open up our church doors for Youth Unlimited to do a leadership course. Uh, they use the basement as uh, a drop-in center for kids just to come hang out after school hours. Uh, they also do a ball hockey in our parking lot uh, just to get kids coming out and hanging out, making relationships, building friendships. Uh, we partner with them and do all these things just uh, for one reason, and that is to further God's kingdom among young people. Well, my faith journey is a 16-week program uh, that we've been running in Departure Bay Baptist Church. We started the kids with a couple of questions. We do seven questions a week. Uh, and the first questions have to do with things like, how old are you? And what is your sex? And what is your name? They're very, very easy questions to answer. And each of them have a Bible verse attached to it. Well, by the end of the 16 weeks, we're asking them really difficult questions. Uh, some questions that have to do with how they live their life every day and what it means for them to be following Jesus in, in their everyday lives, in school, in their homes, uh, with their families, with their friends. 
And these questions really go to the core of who they are as people and who they would like to be as leaders. So things like having these drop-in centers and playing basketball, playing uh, any kind of sports for that matter, is all beneficial in their development of comfort within the church. And this way as well, they develop relationships with people in the churches. So the people can bring cookies or candies or drinks, and then they can develop relationships because kids love food. So if we look at that in the big perspective, all these small events that we're doing will cause the church as a whole to become more tangible to the community. John 13.35 says, Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. <laughs>